we're now joined on the phone line by Kyle West, former Edgesville baseball player, and he's now committed to West Virginia, but he's uh, up in the up in Green Bay for the summer this year to play for the Green Bay Rockers. Uh, Kyle, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're doing well. What's the last couple of weeks been like for you? Because I know it's been crazy busy. Yeah, no, it's it's been very hectic. I mean, for the past two weeks, my phone hasn't stopped ringing. Uh, but now that that's over, my commitment's over, uh, things are starting to slow down a little bit. That's kind of nice. Hey, Kyle, this is Nick Verzelini. Congratulations on uh, the commitment to WVU. Where do you see yourself fitting in on this uh, talented Mountaineers team? Um, that That's still up in the air. Uh, ju- I just went on my visit yesterday, so they kind of mapped that out for me. And uh, it's more or uh, less I'm going to try every position. Not necessarily that, but, like, they're going to find the best place for me to fit. Like, I, I don't know where I'm personally going to fit, but they're going to try and set me up to give the Mountaineers the most success and for me to ultimately have success playing for the Mountaineers. Kyle, Colin McLaughlin here. Congratulations on your continued uh, career going Division One. now. It's a great accomplishment for you, and hopefully you uh, get to continue being a successful player in that your career continues to go. My question for you, we've talked to Tyson Bajant before as he went into the transfer portal, decided to stay at Shepherd. so we got the football perspective. We talked with Abby Beeman when she transferred from Shepherd to Marshall, so we got the basketball perspective. I want to now get that baseball perspective. How hectic is the transfer portal? How busy? I know you said your phone blew up for the past two weeks, but I guess what was it truly like being a transfer and how crazy it all was? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually very incredible because having those those couple seasons I had with Charleston kind of kind of set me up to be very successful in the transfer portal. So having having the Power Five schools and the upper mid major schools reach out to me is just a surreal feeling. Like I didn't get that out of high school because of COVID and everything was so hectic during that time. So being able to truly feel what it's like to be recruited and have that sense of feeling wanted by other teams is it's, it's privileging and uh it just feels good to put myself in this position and you talk a little bit there about going to charleston what kind of what the, was that experience like for you i mean you had two standout seasons there uh, for Charleston, you know, this season, just phenomenal numbers. Uh, and, you know, you're able also not only to hit, you fielded well, and you also stole some bases for them. What kind of was that uh, experience like for you playing at the D2 level in what seems to be a pretty competitive baseball conference? No, it, it really is competitive. Um, it's just being consistent throughout the whole year. Um, I talked to our hitting coach, and the one thing that we stress is to be able to put the most repeatable approach possible into play and to be able to do that day in and day out. And it eventually led up to me having the success that I was able to have for two years. Was WVU always, I guess, uh, a dream of yours to play for the Mountaineers? Um, yeah, ever since uh, I knew what college baseball was about, uh, playing, in, playing youth, uh, that, was a, that was a spot to play. Even if it was a consolation game at 8 a.m. and a tournament, or it was the championship game and you were getting ready to gear up for your fourth game of the day, like it didn't matter what time of day you were playing there, that that atmosphere was always good. And uh, that's when I finally got the concept of what college baseball was about. And ever since then, I've just always wanted to be uh, a Mountaineer. Kyle, a little bit after you entered the transfer portal, it was announced that Robbie Britt, the coach at Charleston, was leaving. Uh, Did you know that, I guess, before going into the transfer portal to make maybe the decision to transfer more of, I guess, your decision? Or did you not know that and the decision was already made that that was the route that you were going to take no matter what? No, that I went in blind. Like, I had no clue that he was deciding to leave. I, I didn't know that he even was applying for a job. But I credit to him, he's able to take a step up like myself to a Division One program. But, no, 
I, I had no clue. I was just going with my gut and uh, wanting to put myself in the best position to be the best possible player and person, challenge myself and to be able to put myself in the best position to further myself in a professional career. And Kyle, I want to take you kind of back to, you know, thinking about Hedgesville a little bit. It seems like the last couple of seasons, uh, you know, not only just the players coming out of Hedgesville, but the success on the baseball diamond during high school season. Uh, you obviously watched from afar this year and the last couple of years. But, uh, you know, just that program, you know, you, you, you talk about yourself, Chase DeLauder, just a couple of guys that are, you know, one is in professional baseball now and you are going to the Division One level because you have strides of getting to professional baseball what is that what was that coming up through that program like um it's it's incredible honestly i uh just being able to have the work that coach grove and coach brown put into us is just unbelievable i mean that that's where it all started honestly going there and then building a great foundation for me to turn me into turn me into a better man and help mold my personality. I mean, I, they, they set the groundwork there, and that it just started taking off from there. Kyle, uh, the Eastern Panhandle, arguably baseball, is the uh, premier sport. How do you think your success and uh, obviously Chase DeWater and, and some other guys that have came out of this area will help bring more college attention uh, to guys when they're coming out of high school? I, I think it's it's very, very well, very good that we are we're getting these opportunities because now it, it opens up opportunities for, for kids who gain the same accolades and have the same potential as us. It just opens up more scouting, and then it makes people want to say that they've come from there maybe there's more up there that no one knows about and so it just opens up a lot more opportunities for other guys who don't have very many opportunities because it's hard enough to make it out of west virginia and i've I've experienced that firsthand like it's it's a grind and you gotta do whatever in your power to get you out of here but us being able to accomplish the things we accomplish or making it just a hair bit easier for for guys to get these uh, opportunities. Kyle, if you're uh, willing to share, who were some of the other colleges that were offering you and why did you, uh, I guess, ultimately choose WVU over them? So I I only had two really big offers. The one was from West Virginia, and then my other one is from the University of Maryland. I mean, the offer from WVU was, was incredible. I just couldn't pass it up. But uh, talking with Maryland, they just had a coaching change, and that didn't necessarily affect my decision, but I I took everything into account as far as experience, um, player development, from facilities to where I felt I would see myself and where ultimately my – where I felt like I needed to be, and that's hands down West Virginia University. I I just took my visit and – It was everything I could have imagined and then just a little bit more sprinkled on top. So I couldn't ask for a better opportunity in front of me. Last one here for you, Kyle. This summer you're up in the Northwood Leagues with the Green Bay Rockers. Uh, doing pretty well for yourself, you know, having a few home runs, you know, leading the t- or you know up there in RBIs. You missed a couple games, obviously coming down to for your visit. Uh, what's playing up there been like? And I, you know, looking at the roster, I believe you have a you know former now former college teammate on there with you. What's that experience been like? No, uh, it's by far one of the best baseball experiences I personally have ever had. Uh, the fan support here is unreal. Like when I bleached my hair for our our conference championship at Charleston. It was still bleached when I got here, and all the fans ate it up. Like they, they loved it. And uh, just, just that support from the fans has been incredible. It's just great fan base. Uh, playing against guys who also want to compete at a high level day in and day out, every night, you know you're going to get somebody who wants to compete and, and work their tail off to beat you. So it's just, just the ultimate one-on-one between us and the, and the pitcher, and that's what I lived for when I came here. It's what I was looking for, and 
just it's, it's everything I expected it to be. Kyle West, our guest, former Hedgesville baseball player, now going to play at West Virginia. Thanks for the time, and uh, best of luck the rest of the summer and your collegiate career at West Virginia. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.